today. It's the National Football League. It's week seven of the NFL on EA Sports. Toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Try and start this drive in the air. The first down the Complete to number two. On second down, Heath. That will be up. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. On second down now, Heath. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, Washington going to send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So here now the Cowboy offense onto the field to get their first crack at it. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. Their mobile QB. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led him to victory. He's doing all the right things. Fifteen yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
He'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Here's second and eight. And he slings one that's incomplete. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Back to throw here. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And Charles, what a battle this is within the division because these guys, they've got the lead, but not by much. On the other side of the field, they're knocking on the door and trying to equal them in the wins category. And I love that second part that you talked about, equaling them in the wins category, because if somehow you get down to the end of the year and they're tied in record, head-to-head -head is always the first tiebreaker. So the winner of this game, they'll have a big advantage. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second and four. He finds his man complete. That's Dean. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's long. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. And this looks like a roughing call. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Now a give right side. Heath. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Heath. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. They'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So here are the Cowboys to take over. 
They were three-point winners a week ago. They lead by three here as well as they start first and ten. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. What a quick start to the drive, but not for the team that really needed it. In only a few seconds, the opposing QB found himself on the turf, and the defense is celebrating second and long. and the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They'll try and run for him with Smith. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The Cowboys sitting at a very solid 4-2 record through the first six weeks. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They keep it with Smith on first down. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On play action, they'll throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. On second down, Sellers. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it. Touchdown, Cowboys! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows to 10 0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. And this is going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll try the left side. Heath. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will be taken at the 13. 54 yards on the punt, 12 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a 10-0 lead, you figure they won't try to do anything foolish here. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And it's the Steelers who are out in front. George Pickens, a touchdown reception. Next, we'll stay in the NFC South. We head back here to Florida. Check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. The Cardinals seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Finally, let's get down to the Bayou. Check in on the Saints at home at the Caesars Superdome. And that one all tied as they host the visiting Falcons. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. <laughs> Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've got the lead right now in this contest, and they're coming off that victory a week ago against the Minnesota Vikings. Set to go, first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They find some open field here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first down, Sellers. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 
And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Sellers had a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, these two teams met in our nation's capital earlier this season with the Commanders picking up the win at FedEx Field. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10. Back to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It's taking a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me very precise methodical as one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit and now of course all scoring plays are reviewed and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone and not just the feet how about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes our score 17-0. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Come out throwing here on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Payne. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. 
When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Back to throw now on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Payne. Here's a second and seven. He finds his man complete. It's Dean. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, Heath. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Heath. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll look to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's long. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. He'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. of four there on the sack and speaking of the number four it brings up fourth down now and the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. On third down, Smith. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. A first down carry for Smith. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 
It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll run on first down. Sellers starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down, here's Smith. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 13-yard line. Third down, Sellers. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth-quarter hole. First down, he'll drop to throw. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Second and two. He's going to let it fly. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off in high spirits as they've got this one well in hand. Here's Smith as he'll try to run some clock. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, 
so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. They'll run for it with Smith. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. No, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So for Dallas, the win moves him up to 5-2 and two now on the year.